वंदे गुरुपद द्वंद भक्त बिंद श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरण दय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदवनम मनोहर वाशा कल्पतरुवश के पास सिंधु बेवच पति पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखंकोति वाचा लंग पंगु लंघतगिरी यत्तमहंग वंदे परमानंदमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव स्नभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुण चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदरुण ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचन तम शरण्यम भीताहम पुनतपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुषते चरणारविंद यत्दपल्लवन कचंद मनीटाए विस्फुजीत किदूषुदर्शि पूर्णागर सागर सारमूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कि श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सती गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितरो कमलायताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा भतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंद दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दधा भावान्ूपेन सदा नरान गंगातरंगरमणीयटाकलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भागम नारायणो प्रिय मनंगमदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुष वदने लक्ष्मीजश च भक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संबीत निशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सुखम ऐन्द्रियकम दैत्यादेह योगेन देहिनम 
सर्वत्र लभति यस्मा यथा दुक्षम अयत्नाता सुखम ऐंद्रियक दैत्या देहयोगेन देहिनम सर्वत्र लभति यस्मा यथा दुक्षम अयत्नाता गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल इन आवर लाइफ वी आर गोइंग टू मीट विथ काउंटलेस प्रॉब्लम एंड इट इज आवर टारगेट टू सॉल्व ऑल प्रॉब्लम एंड टू एंश्योर आवर सेफ एंड स्मूथ लाइफ इट इज आवर ऑल कॉमन पीपल दे हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ आइडिया गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत और सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल वी आर मीटिंग विथ काउंटलेस प्रॉब्लम इन आवर लाइफ एंड एवरीबॉडी लाइक टू सॉल्व ऑल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम एंड दे लाइक टू एंश्योर देयर स्मूथ एंड सेफ लाइफ बट प्रभुपा स्पीकिंग इट शुड नॉट बी आवर टारगेट इट शुड नॉट बी आवर टारगेट Our target should be. Our target should be to do actual Hari Bhajan. I mean, after leaving this body, after leaving this body, where we can go, what will happen? After leaving this body, after leaving this body, what will happen? What we can do? Where we'll go? Where where we will be taken? Papa speaking. while we are living it is not only our duty to solve all problem and to ensure smooth life not that we will have to think over and again about about what will happen after our death where we we will be taken this we should think all the time because common people always busy with their common common people always busy with their material facility material advantage different kind of is quite natural purlad maharaj speaking sukham aindiyakam daitya dehu yogina dehinam sarvatra labhati yasmad yatha dukham ayatnata nobody like to invite problem in their life you like to invite problem in your life problem come 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 you like to invite problem nobody like so pope was prahlad mara speaking you are not going to invite any problem in your life but problem is a must you cannot stop you cannot you cannot avoid problem problem is a must can come similarly all your sukham indriyakam daitya deho yogena dehinam sarvatra labhate यस्मात यथा दुखम अयत्नता यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू इनवाइट एनी प्रॉब्लम इन योर लाइफ सो ऑटोमेटिकली कमिंग सिमिलर वे प्रहलाद महाराज स्पीकिंग ऑल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मेटेरियल एंजॉयमेंट ऑल मेटेरियल फैसिलिटी ऑल रिचेस ऑल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अप्लायसेस कैन कम इन योर लाइफ इफ देयर इज रिटिन इन योर लाक इफ इन योर लाक in your luck it is written if in your luck it is written that you will have to suffer you will have to suffer and if it is written in your luck you can get huge amount of appliances in your life yeah, they can get nobody can stop nobody can stop it's a must so we should not concentrate only into this matter to ensure our life uh, smoothly we can lead your life there should be sufficient money position everything you should not even without expecting even without expecting huge amount of property somebody getting not only human being animal also i know one it came in newspaper long ago i mean 40 years back one news came in newspaper that one very rich man in england very rich man 
heavy rich man. He has no relative, nothing, I don't know why. No relative, nothing. Only one pet dog. Before he is going to leave his body, he is going to write all property in the name of that dog. Huge amount of pound is writing in the name of that dog. Somebody is going to show this newspaper to me, Maharaj, look, it is written there. So I was bound to pass this kind of remark. I was bound to pass this kind of remark that time, 30, 35 or 40 years back. I told, look, who is going to write this huge amount of property in the name of dog? I don't know what a, what a uh, number, he is, he is number one dog. Who is going to write all property in the name of dog? I don't know what a big dog he is himself. He is himself big. Because he cannot find, because he cannot find any utility of money. He cannot find, even our bhajan field. In our bhajan field, you can find billions of dollars everybody have backside. They cannot find any utility. Only they can die like Ravan. Like Ravan, when they are dying, billions of dollars. They are not going to find any utility. So, Prabhupada wanted to warn us, give us warning, that to collect, huge, to collect huge amount of money is not our target. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada told, it is not our target. It is not our target to collect Huge amount of property, money. Because if you are going to concentrate into this matter, I mean collecting money, then automatically you, you can feel some false ego and you can ignore all Guru Vaishnav, you can insult Guru Vaishnav, you can invite all Vaishnav Aparad in your life. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Nobody can prove that their quality is like Yudhishthir Maharaj. Nobody can prove that their quality is just like Ambarish Maharaj. Nobody can prove that their quality is like, you know, big, big, you know, ma our king, the, the pious king, be like, you know, Ambarish Maharaj, Pithu Maharaj. They cannot prove. So, if they are going to concentrate into this matter, to collect huge amount of money only, Preaching men collect money. On the strength of money power, on the strength of money power, we can kick everybody, they can stay down us. Even big, big Vaishnav, they have no money, so they can stay down us. We can kick on their head. It is our target. We cannot find any utility of money. Whereas I can show you, you come with me to Vrindavan, Mathura and different places. They are not our Gaudiya Vaishnava. More or less, I can say they are Mayavadi. We are also Mayavadi. We are in the form of Tilak, everything. Mayavadi means we have no belief in Guru Vaishnava and Bhagavan 100%. That means more or less we are contaminated with Mayavadi. I can show you right in the beginning. If you enter Mathura, I can show they are making big, big school, college, hospital. There. At least they are spending their money. You come with me, I can show. In Barsana, another big rich man. Huge amount of money coming, billions of dollars. But they are not keeping money. They are using money for, you know, school, college, everything. At least they are doing. But we cannot find any utility of money. We keep backside money like Ravan. And we are, you know, feeling heavy honor and position. And likewise, and many times I told, perhaps that day also you wanted to publish, you know, one clipping, that day. Actually, Pope was speaking, if there is no bhajan power, if there is no bhajan power, then there is no question of going in preaching field. If, there, if you have no preaching, if you have no bhajan power, you should not go to preaching field. Because preaching means, preaching means you will have to change, you will have to change common people, 
by showing your conduct, your bhajan power, you can, you can inculcate all your seva bhava, seva mood inside their heart. Preaching doesn't mean I can invite some people and I, I can speak something common and give them, you know, Tulsi Mala and chanting Harinam, I can provide, not that. There is so many, there is so many example. And in Hari Bhakti Vilas also it is written. In Hari Bhakti Vilas also it is written, Guru and Shishya, even Sadguru, Sadguru, he is thinking, he is thinking twice or many times before giving Diksha to somebody. One Sadguru, because what? I don't know what is his intention. Maybe people, people coming to take initiation and in the name of initiation they can run. They, they can run to collect money, position, everything. Who can say? So before giving, giving Diksha, before giving this Diksha, it is written in Haribhakti Bilas that Guru and Shishya Complete one year, testing should be there, one testing. Guru should test the disciple, and disciple actually can watch. Actually, in bonded condition, nobody can understand what is the position of Guru. In bonded condition, nobody can understand the position of Guru. But still, Sanatana Goswami quoting some example from different places, that before giving Diksha, Guru and Shishya, Testing must be there. Without testing, if you are going to give Diksha, there can be big problem. Even after testing, there also can be some problem. Maybe one year testing done, but who can say after that, there can be fall down, Shishya or Guru can fall down. There can be possibility. And that is why in Nama Parad, in Nama Parad, it is counted. I mean, to give Harinam to a man who is not having faith, proper faith. To give Harinam to somebody, still today he has no faith in, you know, Shraddha, minimum Shraddha, nothing. So, without Shraddha, he has no Shraddha, if you like to give Harinam, then Big problem can be there. Big problem can be there. It is one kind of nama para to give harinam to such a person who is not having sufficient shraddha. Shraddha, shraddha is not there. You should not give shraddha. But if this formula, if we like, if this formula, if we like to apply in our bhajan field, I mean our big big like Bhakti Mir Thakur, Prabhupada, our big, big personalities. If we like to follow, we can find none of them going to test Guru or none of them going to test, test a disciple for one year. You cannot find. Prabhupada, before giving Diksha, he can realize. Before giving Diksha to somebody, Prabhupada can realize, if you look at him, he can understand that much power was there with Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. That's why one year testing is not 100% necessary. They have special power. They are the messenger of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Under the, under the guidance of Nityananda Prabhu and Gauranga Mahapu, they want to distribute Krishna name, Krishna Nam. So, Gauranga Mahapu giving order, Gauranga Mahapu giving order to Nityananda Prabhu and Haridas. You go everywhere and speak Harinam to everybody. You go and distribute Harinam to everybody. It is written, na? You can go through Chaitanya Charitamitra. Gauranga Mahapu speaking to Haridas and Nityananda, you can go everywhere. You can speak Harinam to everybody. Every door to door you can go. Now, my question is that, Nityananda Babu Harida is going to distribute Harinama, huh? okay? But they are going door to door. You can prove that, e that everywhere where they are going, they have faith. 
They have faith in Harinam, you can prove. You don't understand. Nitananda Prabhu, Haridas going everywhere, door to door. So Nitananda Prabhu and Haridas going everywhere to distribute. So if I put question, Nitananda Prabhu and Haridas going to going to check up whether they have faith or not, no faith. Nitananda Prabhu Haridas not. Even they are going to give Harinam, speaking Harinam in front of Jagai Madai. Those are drunk, uh, murder, so many countless cases. So why Nithyananda and Haridas Thakur going to speak Harinam to them? If it is Namaparat, to give Harinam to a man who has no faith, if it is Namaparat, why they are going to give Harinam to them, speak Harinam in front of them? If I put question in front of you, what is the answer? If you go through the details written by Sanatana Gosai, if you go through the details written by Sanatana Gosai about, about Nama Parad, there you can find one thing. Sanatana Gosai is writing, you can go and speak Harinam in front of common people, fallen soul. But if that fallen soul not at all ready to hear Harinam, not at all going to insult you, not at all ready, then don't speak. Otherwise it is the otherwise you can speak. Follow. So Atanga said writing, if if they are going to hear Harinam, Nitananda Haridas Thakur going to speak Harinam. And they are hearing Harinam. They have no faith. They have no faith, but they when when hear Harinam, they hear. They are not going to fight with them. They are not going to insult. They are not going to no objection, nothing. Follow. Sanatana so, say writing that Haridas Thakur, Haridas Thakur and Nityananda Prabhu going to distribute Harinam, but it is prohibited to to speak Harinam in front of them. Those who are demonic character like to fight with you. Only for them it is. Otherwise, everywhere we are going for preaching, Harinam, Harikatha. If they have already faith, then what need I go? If they already have faith, they already, if they are, we are going to new, new place na, to speak Harikatha, Harinam. If they already have faith, that those who have faith, they are not going to fight with Harinam. They, they have faith in Harinam. So, what do you mean by this, you know, Siddhanta Vichar? That those who are strictly against, those who are strictly against Harinam, those who are strictly against Harinam, those who don't like Sadhguru Vishnu, only it is strictly prohibited to speak Harinam in front of the, otherwise you can speak Harinam. Anyway, so, Today is the today is the Abhir Bhaktiti of Sri Bangshi Padanandan Prabhu. Today is the Abhir Bhaktiti of Sri Bangshi Padanandan Prabhu. Sila Pope is speaking. Sila Pope is Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Krishna Dev Pope is speaking. You can go to preaching field if you have your bhajan power. According to the degree of your bhajan power, you can go in bhajan field and preach. You have no, if you have no bhajan power, you should not go to bhajan field. Because if you forcefully go to bhajan field, you can make some problem there. You can make some problem there. So, Papa is giving one example. According to the power and technique of one archer, I mean those who are going to bow an arrow, he can throw the arrow and according to his practice, capacity, he can meet with the target, follow. Somebody can take arrow, bow an arrow and throw. This is not so important. But those who are number one archer, they can take the bow and arrow and according to the capacity 
and practice, you know, technique, efficiency, they can meet with the target. They can meet with the target. If you are failure to change the heart of, you know, somebody in front of you are preaching, preaching, then preaching is not successful. So, I was speaking that day, that canvassing and actual preaching is not same. Pope was speaking, canvassing, canvassing means, you know, canvassing means, like one medicine, one new product, some canvas are going in the market with the bag, putting one, holding, you know, and speaking about the qualities of that item he is going to sell in front of public. Follow. So canvasser can canvas, canvasser cannot go for preaching. Canvassing is totally different and preaching is totally different. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu already told, without Tinadavi Baba, without Tinadavi Baba, you cannot, without Tinadavi Baba, you cannot do Harinam, and Hari Katha, you cannot speak. Without Tinadavi Baba, without Tinadavi Baba, nobody can go in preaching field. Without Tinadavi Baba, nobody can do Harinam and Hari Katha. Nobody can. Harinam and Hari Katha are not possible for him. So that much, so that much, Enduring power should be there. Same example given by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. And also Gorang, also Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, same thing. Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking in Bhajan Rasya. Bhaktivinoda Thakur writing in Bhajan Rasya. Briksho jano kati leo kichu na boloi. Shukaya moile kare panina mangwai. Jeija mangwe tare dai upon don, gormo bishi shahe aner kore rakshan. In Bengali. Like a tree not going to start agitation. A tree never going to start agitation that nobody going to, nobody giving me water. No, and if you are going to cut the tree, if you are going to cut the tree, if you are going to cut the tree, but if you are going to cut the tree, but still the tree not going to put one objection in front of you. If you are going to cut a tree, tree cannot start agitation. No, no water there, still he is not asking, give me water, I am dying. Anybody asking anything, fruits, flower, fruits, flower, leaf, even wood, anything, anything, anything if you like to get from the tree, you like to get some, you like to get some wood, you are going to cut the wood, cut the, <coughs> cut the tree to take some wood. Fuel, fuel. They cannot put it. So whatever you are asking, so whatever you are asking from a tree, so whatever you are asking from a tree, tree going to give you, like fruits, flower, eh? or leaf, or the skin, or the or or wood, everything. No objection. Our Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Dagur Prabhupada wanted to show that kind of enduring power, that kind of patience. But you are going to lose your patience. You are going to start agitation against your Godmother, speaking all rubbish. You can remember when all rascal people, there, the heartless people from Navadip, they like to attack Prabhupada with stone and brick, everything. They like that. There, there is a... You can find this description in different books. It was published in newspaper. 
They wanted to kill Prabhupada. They wanted to kill all devotees. Because Parikram party, when they are in Paramatala, they wanted to attack them with bricks and stone and stick. They wanted to attack all. Somebody breaking head, somebody break hand, leg, everything, all. All everything. Somehow by the mercy of Nityananda, Prabhupada was protected. But when all everybody going to request Prabhupada to file one case against those people, when everybody requesting Prabhupada to file one case against those idiot people, criminal, Prabhupada told, Prabhupada told, they are going to contribute us in our preaching. Huh? They are going to contribute us in our massive preaching. How I can and file one case against them? What do you mean? But yes, they are going to attack us. So all news, you know, all newspaper they are going to print this news. All newspaper are going to going to print this news that one. And you know, after Jagai after Jagai Madai, after Jagai Madai, this was the second time we witnessed this kind of, you know, you know, they are, they are brute. They wanted to attack on the all newspaper came. Papa speaking, this way, the name of Gauriamat was preached very quickly. Name of Gauriamat. Chaitanya Mahatma and Gauriya Mahatma was preached very, preached very, very quickly. So they are going to contribute in our, you know, preaching procedure. So why should I? I don't like to. So, so if somebody going in preaching field, somebody can insult, somebody can ignore you, somebody can attack you, like the case of Madhav Goswami Maharaj, and so many devotees. So they are not going to lose, they are not going to lose their patience. They are not going to lose their patience. But you will become very angry. You become very angry. So I don't know you are preaching how much, how far you are preaching is successful. We'll have to calculate. If you are preaching is successful, then why you are not successful yourself? You cannot maintain your, you know, patience. Why you are going to break, break down? Why you are going to suspect somebody speaking all rubbish against this and that? Big big sadhu, you like to insult them. It's not good. So now we like to discuss about Sila Bangshi Badadananda Prabhu. It is the Siddhanta Vichara of Prabhupada. It is the Siddhanta Vichara of Prabhupada. If you are going to preaching field, whether whether you are going in preaching field or you are not going in preaching field, if you are staying in mud, still you are a preacher. Don't understand. If you are staying in Gauriya mud, if you are staying in Gauriya mud with all Acharan and Siddhanta, then every people coming to visit there. Maybe you are cooking, maybe you are washing utensil. What you are cleaning the whole temple with boon. Whatever seva you do, Popa told, those who are really, those who are really staying in Gauriamat, they are all preacher. Active preacher or active preacher, some some going in preaching field, but they are also preacher. They are also preaching. Anyway, so Bhangshi Padanananda Prabhu or Samananda Prabhu or the disciple of Samananda Prabhu, Rasikananda Prabhu, all they are number one preacher, topmost preacher. Bhangshi Padanananda Prabhu, you cannot find so much information. You cannot find so much information about Bhangshi Padanananda Prabhu in Chaitanya Chaitamita. You cannot find so much information. But Bangshi Shiksha and all the writings of Kobi Karnapur, Chaitanya, Chaitanya Chaitamita Mahakabham. There you can find all in details about Bangshi Padanananda. 
Vamsi Badanandana Prabhu is the avatar of Vamsi. Is the avatar of Vamsi. Vamsi Badanandana Prabhu is the avatar of Vamsi. Follow. Is the avatar of Vamsi. And he took birth in Navadip Mandal, actually. Here. Kuliya, Deep, there are different, different villages. You can remember, one time Mahaprabhu coming from Nilachal Dham, Purushottam Dham, and going to Adyaito Gosai house, and from there with Adyaito, straight away coming to Navadip, Kuliya, not this side. Kuliya, Navadip. And he took shelter into the house of Madhavananda. Madhav Chattopadhyay. Madhav Chattopadhyay, a Brahman. Very nice. I am not going to speak all in details about his heretical, his father, forefather, I do. No time. But he is very important personality. Madhav, Madhavananda. Madhav Chattopadhyay. Madhav Chattopadhyay, one, one great devotee, Madhav Chattopadhyay is a great devotee and we can say is the eternal parsad of Gauranga. And Bhangshi Badananda Prabhu is the son of that Madhav Chattopadhyay. Bhangshi Badananda Prabhu is the son of that Madhav Chattopadhyay. In the house, of Madhav Chattopada Madhavananda, Mahaprabhu, when came from Puri via, via Shantipur, he went there in the house of Madhavananda. There, Mahaprabhu stayed for seven days. Continuously for seven days, Mahaprabhu was there. Then you can put question why he came to bestow Kipa on Navadi Bashi. To, get, to bestow Kipa. To, to bestow kipa on Navadip Basi. All Navadip, they are very feeling pain when Mahaprabhu gone living Navadip Dham. When Mahaprabhu gone living Navadip Dham, took sannyas. After that, all Navadip Basi, they are feeling big pain. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came here for seven days, continuously giving darshan, continuously giving darshan to everybody. Here, Madhavananda Prabhu. You should remember when Bhangshi Badanananda Prabhu, you should remember when Bhangshi Badanananda Prabhu took birth, that time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there in his house. Bhangshi Badanananda Prabhu took birth, that time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there and Advaita Gosai also there. Both of them in their house as a guest. Mahaprabhu and Advaita Gosai, both of them were there in their house in his house as a guest. That time, Bhangshi Padananda Prabhu took birth. Follow. So, Bhangshi Padananda Prabhu was a very dear to Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gauranga Mahaprabhu used to love Bhangshi Padananda Prabhu. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knowing everything, he is a Bhangshi avatar. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knowing everything. There is a Bhangshi avatar. So, usually, Bhangshi is very favorite to Krishna. So Bhangshi is also favorite to Gauranga Mahapu, same Krishna. So now Bhangshi Padananda, now main thing. Bhangshi Padananda took birth here, then gradually growing up. Bhangshi Padananda Prabhu was given to our Vishnu Priya Devi. Bhangshi Padananda Prabhu, after Chaitanya Mahapu took in Sanyadhani, but gone, Bhangshi took birth. When Bhangshi Padananda get grow up, uh, maybe five years, six years, seven years boy, he came here to serve, to serve Vishnu Priya Devi. He came here to serve Vishnu Priya Devi. By that time, Sachima already gone from this world. By that time, Sachima already gone from that world. Only, only one servant, eternal servant of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, 
Only eternal suffering. Ishan. Only one. Ishan Thakur was there. Ishan Thakur was there serving Vishnu Devi and Bhongshipatananda Prabhu at that time, uh, eight years, six, eight years, ten years boy. And another important personality who was sent by Goranga Mahaprabhu, he is Damodar Pandit, not Damodar Gosai. Damodar Pandit. Mahaprabhu himself sent him. He was so special personality. You can take care of my mother and everybody. Or Navadhi Basi. He was sent there. Follow. Now, Bhongshi Padanandana Prabhu and our Vishnu Devi so deep relation. Bhongshi Padanandana Prabhu used to think Vishnu Devi as mother. And Vishnu Devi used to treat as, as his own son. Whenever Vishnu Devi crying like crazy, going to lose patience like mad, then Bhangshi Padananda Prabhu purposely eh, start, then used to start crying heavily. When Vishnu Devi crying for Gauranga Mahaprabhu, cannot keep patience, then Bhangshi Padananda Prabhu crying is so heavily and rolling down on ground, then Vishnu is bound to stop his own crying, going to catch that boy. So heavily. I like to cut short my discussion. Bhangshi Bhadanananda Prabhu, gradually growing up, so much seva done. Bhangshi Bhadanananda Prabhu, Bhangshi Bhadanananda Prabhu was there with Vishnupiya Devi all the time. So much seva, huge seva, done by Bhangshi Bhadanananda Prabhu, all the time, Vishnupiya Devi. And in dream, Gauranga Mahaprabhu came in dream, of Bo, uh, Vishnu, Vishnu Devi in the dream of Vishnu Devi. Vishnu Devi could find Goranga Mapu in dream and also Bhangshi at a time. Both of them watching Goranga Mapu giving instruction. Both of them, Vishnu Devi and Bhangshi Babu, both of them watching one dream that Goranga Mapu speaking. Goranga Mapu speaking. What Gauranga Mahaprabhu speaking? Gauranga Mahaprabhu speaking, well, there is one neem tree. My mother gave me, my mother gave birth there, neem tree, you can go, Jokpit, there is a neem tree. That neem tree, you can cut and make one deity, my deity. Deity, my deity, you can make and install. Follow. And how we can distal which pose, which Gorangama pose speaking, you start, I can speak everything. I can sit into the into the heart of one one you know artist. I can sit into the heart of one artist and you can ask him to engrave. I can I myself can express myself. Like the case of Jagannath, automatically. Self effulgence, self expressed. So, both of them, Vishnu Devi and Bhangshi Bhadanandabhu, watching this dream, so they took initiative to cut the tree, cut that, you know, neem tree, and they wanted to make one deity, and that deity is now Dameshwar Gauranga. That, that Dameshwar Gauranga. Dameshwar Gauranga. And that Dameshwar Gauranga was installed when Gauranga Mahaprabhu was speaking, that day tree and I myself all non-different from each other. Mahaprabhu speaking to Vishnu Devi, believe me or not, believe me or not, that day tree and I myself all non-different. Don't cry. I am with you all the time. So this way, Gauranga Mahaprabhu manifested himself in the form of day tree, first time, in the form of this day tree, first. Follow. And Bhangshi Bhadanandana Prabhu, after Vishnu Devi gone from this material world, there is one history I don't like to speak now because time cannot permit. Miracle. Gauranga, Devi submerged, submerged in the deity. 
Vishnu Bhadi we enter into the room, the room automatically close and nobody finds Vishnu Bhadi. Vishnu Bhadi submerged into Gauranga Mahapur deity. Long history. After that, Vishnu Bhadi, after Vishnu Bhadi we gone, Bangshi Padunandana Prabhu wanted to install one Bhigraha also. And this seva, Madhavananda, Madhavananda, I mean the brother of Vishnu Bhadi, brother of Vishnu Bhadi, he took responsibility. Brother of Vishnu Bhadi, he took responsibility for that seva. I mean Damesha. And Bangshi Padhananda Prabhu was bound to marry. And after marriage, there, is, there was two sons. One is Gauranga, one is Nityananda. Name of son, Gauranga and Nityananda. And uh, uh, Gaur and Nityananda, Gaur and Nitai. And Gauranga, I mean the son of Bangshi Padhananda Prabhu, he, when he was married, Mane after the son, Gauranga, Gaur, Gaur, when he was married, after that he, there was one another son. Another son. He he get one, one son. That son was taken by by Janava Thakuran. I mean that son. I mean the grandson of I mean the grandson of grandson of Bangshipadananda Prabhu. He was taken by Vishnu Piyadavi. He begged Vishnu Biyadavi, I uh, look, I mean, sorry, uh, Janava Devi. Janava Devi is going to beg this son. He give this son to me. He give this son to me. Then that son was given to Janava Thakurani, and Janava Thakurani, finally, the, all the uh, relative of Bhangshipadananda Prabhu, I mean, his son and grandson, they started living in Bhagnapara. They started living in Bhagnapara. Bhagnapara, you know? One station just before Kalna. You went to Kalna? Navadhi, from Navadhi you start. If you are going to reach Kalna, just the previous station is Bhagnapara. Bhagnapara, Janavata Gurani bring Janavata Gurani, Janavata Gurani, Janavata Gurani brought, go, Janavata Gurani brought, Krishna Balaram from Vrindavan. When Janavadagana went to Vrindavan, then she brought Krishna Balaram. And that Krishna Balaram Bigra is there. A Bhagnapara. Bhagnapara line, actually Janavadagurani gave Diksha to their grandson. Janavadagurani already gave Diksha. Janavadagurani already gave Diksha to the grandson of Bhangshivadananda. Follow. And his Bangsha, I mean Parampara in Bhagna, Bhagna Pada. So Bangshi Padanananda Prabhu is a big, big person, big important personality. When Sinibas Achajo, when Sinibas Achajo came, when Sinibas Achajo came in when Sinibas Achajo came in Navadip Dam, Mayapur. Then it is Bhangshivadananda Prabhu and Ishan Thakur. Both of them helped, though both of them helped him, helped him to meet with Vishnu Piyadevi. Bhangshivadananda Prabhu and Ishan Thakur, both of them. By the mercy of Bhangshivadananda Prabhu and Ishan Thakur, Srinivas Acharya, he was successful to watch the lotus feet of Vishnu Piyadevi. And Vishnu Bhadevi wanted to touch the main finger in the left hand leg on the head of, of Srinivas Acharya. When Pe Prasad Dandabad, Vishnu Bhadevi touching his leg on the head of Srinivas Acharya. So many cases, anyway. So this way, Bangshi Padanandana Prabhu is the avatar of Bangshi. That Bangshi, he came here. And what to speak about? Shamananda Prabhu. Shamananda Prabhu or Bangshi Padanandan Prabhu, both of them they are the eternal parsad of Gauranga Mahapu. Bangshi Padanandan Prabhu or Shamananda Prabhu, both of them eternal parsad of 
Radha Govindu, and both of them eternal persons of Gauranga. In Gauranga Lila, they are coming in the form of Bhangshivadananda Prabhu, in the form of Samananda. And in Krishna Lila, Samananda Prabhu coming in the form of Kanak Manjari, Kanak Manjari, and Bhangshivadananda Prabhu coming in the form of Bhangshi. Bhangshi. So both of them, eternal persons. Samananda Prabhu took birth in Orisha, Dharenda, Dharenda Bahadur, one village, just adjacent to Midnapur. Midnapur, if you cross the limit, if you cross the, if you cross the border of Midnapur, you can meet with Orisha. I mean the border line, border line of Orisha and Orisha and Midnapur is just Orisha. And Minapur, just adjacent. Balashar, Dadan. If you go to Puri, you can watch after Karakpur. There are some station. There you can meet one station at Dadan. That from there actually our Urisha border starting. So Dharanda Bahadur, one place of Urisha, just adjacent to Minapur. There he took birth. His father was Krishna Mandal. He took birth in Shadgo, not high family. Externally, he took birth in Shadgo, not in high family. Krishna Mandal. But by birth, he was a great devotee. Because when he took birth, that the boy was a very exceptional boy. Exceptional boy. The boy growing up is learning Sanskrit Vyakaran or so many Sastra. But he is going to express his more and more interest in Hari Bhajan, not in general education. Father watching, the boy is expressing, father watching, the boy is expressing tremendous attraction for Hari Bhajan. He is growing up, the boy growing up, tremendous intelligent, very intelligent, very super intelligent. Going to learn everything, Sanskrit, Bakar and everything, all grammar, everything done. All Sastra, Upanishad, Ved, everything done. After that, the family was very good because Krishna Mandal was also devotee. Krishna Mandal's father was also devotee. So the environment, family environment was very good, not bad. Mother also good. And he is and our father is very rich family, Jamindar, very great landlord. Now actually, Shamananda Babu crying. Father someday suggesting. Father, Krishna Mandal someday, father someday suggesting. My son, it seems that you like to do Hari Bhajan. It seems that you like to start Hari Bhajan. So better you can take shelter of a Shadguru. Then the boy speaking, you permit me, you permit me, I, I like to go to Kalna. You permit me, I like to go to Kalna. There is a disciple of Gauridas Pandit, Hidai Chaitanya. He is asking father, father you give me permission, I like to go to Kalna. There is a disciple of, eh? disciple of Gauridas Pandit, he is still alive. If you permit me, I can go. How you can go? You are a small boy. You are a small boy. How you can go? Well, if you permit that those devotees, they are going there to take bath in Ganga. They are going to take bath in Navadiv here, there. I can go with them, if you permit me. Then father thinking deeply and speaking well. You can go. Because somebody likes to do Hari Bhajan. Because it is Siddhanta. If somebody... If somebody likes to do Hari Bhajan, if I like to stop him, it's very bad. If you like to, if you like to do Hari Bhajan, I can help you from heart, whatever you, whatever you need, clothes or whatever books you need, whatever I can help you. There is the rules. So father speaking, father, father thinking, if I am not going to allow the boy to go to Kalna, then someday the boy can blame me. You didn't allow me to go to Kalna, so I couldn't take shelter of that great exalted devotee, Parshad of Mahaprabhu. 
Hidai Chaitanya. So he told, okay, 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 you can, you can go. Then with all devotees, he is coming here and they are all taking bath in Ganga and everywhere. After that, finally going to reach Kalna and going to, going to ask people, finally going there, finally going there in the Gauridas Pandisi part. You went there, no? You went there. Gauridas Pandisi part. And outside gate, before entering, before entering the place, is paying prostrate dandavad and crying. Paying prostrate dandavad crying. And automatically, like, magne like magnetic attraction, Gurudev, I mean Hidai Chaitanya, automatically don't know the reason. From inside temple, automatically coming out and watching one boy paying prostrate dandavad. Hey, who are you? Then the boy crying, my name is, <coughs> my name is, you know, Shamananda Prabhu was not the name. Originally, some other name was there. I don't know, follow. His name was, uh, I forget. His name was giving uh, Dukhi. Eh? Dukhi Krishna was name given by this uh, Hidai Chaitanya. I, I mean, Hidai Chaitanya. He gave Dukhi. His name was Krishna Das. Krishna Das. His original name was given by, by father was Krishna Das. Krishna Das his name. Father's name is Krishna Mandal, Krishna Das his name. So he, he was initiated by he was initiated by by Hidai Chaitanya. Hidai Chaitanya speaking, today, today in dream I already saw that somebody coming to me. So I was almost ready to accept you. I don't know who is coming. Inside my heart, inside my heart whole day. Somebody is speaking, there's somebody coming to you, somebody coming to you, somebody, now I meet you. So, your name? My name is Krishna Das. Well, you come. I like to serve your lotus feet. You can give me Diksha, I like to do Krishna Bhajan. Then he was given initiation, his name was kept Krishna Das, Dukhi Krishna Das. His name was given Dukhi Krishna Das. He used to bring 24 pitcher of water from Ganga for seva. For seva, cooking, washing, everything, all in time. 24 and one pitcher, big pitcher, going to Ganga, bringing water, putting in the pot, again going 24, going long distance. This way, all the way, he started serving his Gurudev in such a way that Gurudev was very, very, very happy with disciple. Very happy. And giving permission, and giving permission to Dukhi Krishna Das, well, Dukhi, Dukhi Krishna Das, Dukhi Krishna Das, you can go to Vrindavan to take lesson, to take lesson from Jiva Goswami Path. You see the mood. Now at present one disciple of a guru going to hear Harikatha to some exalted person, they can beat him. Don't go. But you see, there's jealousy. It's not called Hari Bhajan. It's not called Hari Bhajan. Jealousy is there. Nirma Saranam Satam. Dharma Pajita Kaitabhatra. Dharma Pajita Kaitabhatra. Nirma Saranam Satam. I mean, those who are having jealousy, they are first hand disqualified for Hari Bhajan. First hand. Jealousy inside. Jealousy. First hand. Somebody sometime acting in such a way, somebody sometime acting in such a way, it seems that he has no jealousy. His behavior is so sweet giving you a very sweet treatment, said, you can think he has no jealousy. Very nice person. But I can prove he has 100% jealousy, more jealousy. But so clever. They are so clever in, in hum, human dealing. They are so clever. They are so clever in human dealing, human behavior. Very clever. They are like businessmen. They know if I approach this way, people can arrest me. So I can go this way. Now people cannot 
understand I have jealousy. At the same time, I can come out success. Very cunning there. Yeah. Follow. What is the symptom of a pure devotee? If you insult him, try to understand, don't forget. If you insult him, if you ignore him, if you boycott him, if you do so many problems, but still he is not going to fight with you. He can go on speaking Harikatha in intact way. Even you are insulting. You are insulting, going to insult him heavily. Insulting him. But still he has not, no reaction. He can go on speaking Harikatha. Because his, because his Harikatha is not an instrument to collect La Puja Patishta. He is speaking Harikatha for the satisfaction of Bhagavan. So everybody like to ignore him, insult him, going against him, not going to contribute him in his preaching, all speaking rubbish against him, going to stop his harikatha, fighting, still no reaction inside heart. So still you cannot find any reaction inside his heart because his harikatha is completely for the satisfaction of Bhagavan, not, not an instrument to collect La Puja Patishta. So, Hidai Chaitanya giving permission, permission now, giving instruction, Permission me, I am asking, he is giving permission. Not there. He himself is going to suggest, my son, you can go to Vrindavan and take lesson you know, from Jiva Goswami So, by the order of Gurudev, he is going there. By the order of Gurudev, he is going there in Vrindavan, going to identify himself, going to identify himself in front of Jiva Goswami when you pray Dandavad and crying, you, give, you can give shelter. My Gurudev sent me. Because one letter, he was, he carry one letter, written by, written by Hidai Chaitanya, one letter from Gurudev. Letter giving to Jibu Gusimba. My Gurudev giving him instruction to stay in. So, he was, Jibu Gusimba was very happy. By that time, by that time, Srinivas Acharya, Srinivas Acharya was already there. North Madhagur already there. By that time, Srinivas Acharya, North Madhagur already there. Because the Gurudev of Srinivas Acharya, Gopal Bhattu Goswami giving instruction to him, you go and learn from, learn from Jiva Goswami. And also, our, you know, what do you call? Narutam Raghur, Loknath Gosai already giving, go, go to Jiva Goswami, Jeep, go to Jiva Goswami and learn. So no jealousy. They are learning. And Samananda Prabhu, Samananda Prabhu was given, Samananda Prabhu was given a special seva of cleaning Niduban. Samananda Prabhu was giving a, a special seva Shamananda Prabhu was given a special seva by 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 Jiva Goswami Path. Previously his name was not Shamananda. Though Shamananda is eternally present, but we say Krishna Das, Dukhi Krishna Das. When he is coming, his name is still now Dukhi Krishna Das, not Shamananda. But I am speaking to so that you can understand. Shamananda Prabhu's name was given by Radharani. I am speaking Shamananda so that you can understand. Otherwise, his name is actually Dukhi Krishna Das. So, Jiva Goswami in front, they are taking lesson. They are all taking lesson from Jiva Goswami Path. All Goswami Shastra, all, uh, I mean, Rupa Goswami Path, Sanatan Goswami Path, writing so many books. Rasamrita Sindhu, Rasamrita Sindhu written by Rupa Goswami Path, Vyad Bhagavadam Vidhu written by Sanatana so many, countless books. So all Goswami books, all Goswami books, all Goswami books, they started learning from Jiva Goswami Path. And also the writings of Jiva Goswami Path, Sandarbha, Sandarbha, Six Sandarbha, learning from Jiva Goswami Path. And while, and while learning, while learning from Jiva Goswami Path, one seva was given to Dukhi Krishna Das by Jiva Goswami. You can go every day and clean 
clean niduban with one boon. Boon, you can go. So every morning time, so every morning time, very early in the morning, every morning time, he used to go there to clean all niduban. Clean. One day, in course of his cleaning, in course of his cleaning, he discovered one leg ring. Leg. Very, very, very beautiful, very, very costly, of Prakita. He is going to take up the look. Very glamorous, exceptional. So he was very careful, putting in a cloth and going to. And in the meantime, one, one gopi, one gopi girl, gopi girl coming and asking to Dukhi Krishna, you find one uh, leg, leg ring, you know, you want fine? He said, yes. You can give to me? Why I can give to you? Because it is the leg ring of my friend. He is speaking. Vishakha came, Vishakha. Vishakha Swaki came to, to take the ring, you know. He is speaking, I can give the ring back the, I can give to, to the owner directly, not to you. It's very clever. He is speaking, well, I can give, I can give the ring directly to the owner of the ring. Radharan is the owner. Very clever. Okay, I am going to bring. Then going to inform Radharani. Radharani and Vishaka both coming. Radharani is standing in the backside of a, of a tree. One tree is there, big tree. Tree and Radharani backside and walking, watching. And going to show hand, my, my, like in my, you give to him, give to her. Radharani speaking. And after watching the effulgence, after watching the body effulgence of that gopi, I mean Radharani and Vishakha, she gone mad. How possible? They are not ordinary coward, you know, milk mad lady. They are not ordinary lady. So, Samananda Prabhu, I mean, a Dukhi Krishna is feeling some reaction inside heart. After that, when he is going to hand over the pile, I mean the ring, to Vishaka, Vishaka is going to hand over to Radharani. Radharani was so happy, so happy, then going to ask, going to ask Dukhi Krishna Das, you can go and take bath in the lake. You can go and take bath in the lake and come in front of me. Radharani speaking. Then Dukhi Krishna Das going to take bath in a lake. And after taking bath, Dukhi Krishna Das discover his body is gopi body. After taking bath in the water, Dukhi Krishna Das discover I am a beautiful Gopi. Gopi, not man. Gopi. Sun sees gradually approaching towards Radharani. Radharani giving indication. Sit, 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 sit. And then she is going to sit. She is going to sit. She, he is not now man, woman. Gopi. She is going to sit. And Radharani came, coming in front of her and with the with the no a leg ring, one point, going to make one with you know there is red color, lacquer, lacquer, lacquer. In the leg of rather in red, red lacquer na. So with this pile, I mean the ring, is going to touch lacquer and making one nice tilak. Someone on the body you can find this way there and there, there, there you have seen. You have seen no. Shamananda Pariva, they are, they are like this, this and this. With leg. Permanent, permanent, not it is a permanent impression. Permanent impression. Giving blessing, Radharani blessing. And Radharani speaking, from today onward, your name is Shamananda. From today onward, your name is Shamananda. 
blessing. Then, when she is going to come back, again discover my internal sarup vanish. Again man. When coming back to Jibuko Sempath, then you discover again man. But because Radhanani cannot, Radharani can never meet with any man. Radharani can never meet with his man. Only Krishna. So, automatically. So, while coming back, Jiva Goswami was asking, what is this? What is this here? What is this? Then he is going to speak all in details about what happened there. Jiva Goswami was so happy, so happy, he started embracing him and kissing him. He started embracing and kissing him. Oh, so lucky you are. But don't speak it to anybody else. Jiva Goswami was speaking, don't speak it to anybody. Keep it secret. But in the meantime, all news spreading that Shamananda Prabhu, I mean, Dukhi Krishnadas, going to violate his Gurudev, going to take different new tilak, new teachings, new name. News going na, to Kala. News spreading na, that Dukhi Krishnadas changing his tilak, and also, you know, name also change, Shamananda. Then Gurudev become very angry. Well, I give you Diksha and you are going to violate me. Name and Tilak, all I give. Then he is coming with, uh, with one danda. One danda. And in front of everybody he started beating. Beating him. Shamanan, anyway, Shamanan was not going to complain because Gurudev beating. <laughs> then Jiva Goswami Jiva Goswami finally going to speak all in details. Don't beat him. Don't beat him. And in the same time, Radharani came in dream of Hidai Chaitanya. I mean the Gurudev of. In the meantime, Radharani already came in the dream of, of Hidai Chaitanya. I mean the Gurudev of Shamananda Prabhu. And speaking, who are you to give punishment to? Who are you to give punishment? I have given myself the Tilak. You have any objection? I have given myself the name and Tilak. Who are you? You are the, you know, as you are the, you know, as associate of Krishna, but he is my associate. His name is Samananda. His original name is Kanak Manjari, secret Saru Gopi. So you have no right to give punishment. Then Gurudev going to burst into tears and into embrace the disciple and beg for pardon. You'd never mind. Uh, you never mind, I am not going to speak anything to you anymore. I already know how you develop your tilak, everything. And I have no objection. But anyway, it is my request, after completing your education, you can come back to, because I am also growing age now. I am also growing age. You can complete your education in, uh, in front of Jiva Goseva and you can come. Well, okay, I can come. In the meantime, when all the education is complete, I mean, all Goswami, they are not like you and me. They are not like you and me. They are so intelligent, they are a prakita. If Jiva Goswami is going to explain, one time hearing, they can remember everything. But in, in our society, in our society, if, if one teacher of Bhagavatam, if one teacher of Bhagavatam, like Prabhupada, if one teacher of Bhagavatam, who is himself Bhagavat, teacher of Bhagavat, teacher of Bhagavatam, he should be himself a Bhagavatam. Yeah, Bhagavatam can speak Bhagavatam. So if he like to teach Bhagavatam to me or to you or to somebody, it will take a long time. But within short, within short period of time, they can learn all Sastra. All Goswami Ganta, Bhagavatam, Shandarbha, all they learn. Complete. After that, Jiva Goswami is going to give the instruction that you should preach. You should preach all the teachings of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. I mean, all the, writ all the writings of Goswamis. You can take, you can take all in bundle, in a car, Carmen, bullock card, bullock card. They tie in a bullock card, with very packing, heavy packing, and they uh, and Jiva Goswami Pad allow, Jiva Goswami Pad allow, Shamananda Prabhu, Shamananda Prabhu, 
and Srinivasa Chajjo and, and North Mudhagur. Three of them. It is the instruction of Jibu Goswami You can go and preach all around. Try to understand, I can come to the point. One question he is putting today. I can give answer. If I can find today, I can give or next day. So, they are starting from Vindavan with all bullock cart full of books. They put in a tank, in a tank, iron tank, lock and all books they are taking and gradually they are going towards Bangla. And before entering Bangla, I mean almost they enter, Bankura, Bankura district. All the books and everything, treasure, was stolen by one dockoid. One big dockoid, all stolen. Then everybody started crying. Samananda Babu started crying. Srinivasajo started crying. Narottama Thakur, oh Thakur, oh Prabhu, what is your desire? How we miss all our treasure? It's called secret treasure. Then, after a long time, the name of that dockoid is Bir Hambir Raja. He is king. In the daytime, in the daytime, he is king. And hearing Bhagavatam, everything, it is Sastra. And night time, he is going to loot. Loot, you know? Ah, all going to dockoids night time. Then, Srinivasajo requesting, Srinivasajo requesting to North Madhakur and Samananda, why you are wasting time? It is the instruction of our Prabhu, Jiva Pad, why not you go and start your preaching? Don't waste your time. You go. Then North Mataka started uh, approaching towards east and our Samananda Prabhu started approaching towards, towards uh, south-west. I mean, Urisha belt everywhere. Minnapur, Urisha belt up, up Bengal, south-west. And Nautama Thakur started approaching towards east, east, I mean all Bengal, Bengal. I mean east, the more you go to east, you can meet with Manipur, Nagaland, Tipura, all. All there. So at present, you are going to discover all Manipuri people, Manipuri. All Manipuri people, they are putting Tilak and doing Gauranga by the Kripa of North Mughal. It is by the North Mughal went there for preaching. Anyway, Samananda Babu started preaching and also North Mughal started preaching. Only Srinivasa Jajjo waiting there to recover. Srinivasa Jajjo only waiting to recover the treasury, property. Very clever. Samananda Prabhu, I have been gone and not tomorrow alone. Srinivasa Jajjo taking information. Srinivasa Jajjo taking information that this king of this place, Bir Hambir, he is hearing Harikatha. So one day, Srinivasa Jajjo is going to hear Harikatha there. Srinivasa Jajjo going to going to hear Harikatha. Birhami Raja also sitting, everybody hearing, Srinivasa Jajjo hearing. And who is going to recite Bhagavatam? He don't know the inner meaning of Bhagavatam. So while he is reciting, Srinivasa Jajjo started crying and you know, Expressing prema. Then the whole Sabha feeling disturbance. They are asking. Then Srinivasa Jo speaking. He is speaking Bhagavatam. A so inner meaning there. So inner meaning. He liked to avoid. Then Srinivasa Jo was given opportunity to recite Bhagavatam in that assembly. So while Srinivasa Jo started reciting Bhagavatam, the king gone mad. The king, Birhami Raja, gone mad. He is thinking how possible he is reciting Bhagavatam this way. The king also started shedding tears. And finally it was discovered, finally it was discovered that all those property, Gauriyo property, treasure, Bani Vaibhav, 
Bani property, Bani Bhoibhav, not missing. It is kept intact. It is kept intact by this Birhambir Raja, this king. Finally, the king started crying and praying unto the lotus feet of Srinivasa Jo, you give me initiation. I like to start Bhari Bhajan. Finally, he was giving initiation. I went to that place where initiation was given. I went long ago, 10, 12 years back. I went to the place where initiation was given to that Birhambi Raja, Ra Radha Madan Mohan temple. And uh, Radha Madan Mohan, this temple was also installed by Srinivasa Chaju. And in front of the temple, Birhambi Raja was given initiation. That place I went there. Follow. Then uh, now the king become, become very big devotee. Hey, he wanted to give back all property. He wanted to give back all property intact. All in kept in an iron chamber. Then finally all it was discovered. And now, today, we have information about Vyad Bhagavad Gita. We have information, information about Rasamrita Sindhu. We have information about Shatsa Sandarbha. All. Because? Because of Srinivasa Jaji. So all treasures he could recover and it was massive preaching. Massive preaching actually is possible for uh, to speak by Gauranga Mahapu. Because Gauranga Mahapu give power to you, you can give also power to everybody. Multiple way. Yeah? Yeah, only possible for some cases. As well as massive preaching is not, this word is fake term. Impossible. But it is only possible Gauranga Mahaprabhu, sometime we can apply it to Samananda Prabhu, miracle. Miracle. Samananda Prabhu giving initiation to somebody. I can come to the point. Rashikananda Prabhu, you heard the name of Rashikananda, who is the main disciple of Samananda Prabhu. Number one disciple of Rashikananda. His name is Rashikananda Prabhu. Rashikamanda Prabhu was successful to give initiation to a mad elephant. One mad elephant. He was provocated. He was provocated by some, some wicked man. You go and kill some Rashikananda. The elephant coming. Ah! And Rashikananda was standing, not speaking anything. He was provocated. Provocation was given. The elephant coming like mad. Very crazy elephant, like mad, big elephant. When elephant coming in front of Rashikananda, Rashikananda not running, Rashikananda standing in the same place. When elephant coming with big fighting mood, destructive mood, then Samananda was speaking, Hey, how long you can, how, how long you can lead, lead your life like a crazy elephant? How long? How long you can lead your life like a crazy elephant? Try to understand who are you. Shit in front of me. I can give Harinam to you. Ah, oh, the elephant sitting. Ah, oh, yes, elephant sitting. Its picture is there. Elephant sitting. And Rasikananda was giving Harinam to him. That elephant. And from then onward, the elephant was great devotee. From then onward, Elephant was number one devotee. He used to collect all wooden piece from jungle for big festival, going to take wheat, wheat sack, iron sack, everything to somebody's house. Who is going to stop? Who is going to stop elephant? Elephant going, going there in a go down and taking all wheat back and going to ah, take it. And again going, taking iron, iron sack and going to give him. How much you need? Big festival. <laughs> It is written, his name was Ramu. When he died, when he left his body, all Vaishnavas, they make a big procession with, with musical instrument and kirtan, Hare Krishna Mahamanta, with an elephant. The elephant was great devotee. Similar incident, I know in Ajodha, one monkey, after going to live body, all Vaishnavas are making a big procession with musical instrument and doing kirtan, Ram. One, one monkey, Hanuman. Langur, you know. Monkey is actually mother, and Langur is Hanuman. 
So anyway, so Shamananda Prabhu give initiation to Rasikananda Prabhu. Rasikananda Prabhu was from a big family, I mean landlord family. He was trying to get Guru. In dreams, somebody speaking, your Gurudev coming to you, you need not go anywhere. To Rasikananda Murari, somebody came in dream and speaking, you need not go anywhere to, in, search, in search of your Guru. Your Guru coming here within a within short period of time. Really, his name is Samananda. So when Samananda was coming, then Rasikananda started dancing. My Gurudev coming to me. He was initiated. Actually, he is Khiroda Gosai Vishnu. Aniruddha Vishnu Avatar. Rasikananda Prabhu is a Khiroda Gosai Vishnu Avatar. Rasikananda. And Samananda Prabhu is Kanak Manjuri. You don't know. Now I can speak some miracle. Miracle. That how, how they, it is possible for them to preach this way. Mane Samananda Prabhu giving initiation to Rasikananda Prabhu. Because Jiva Goswami is already giving instruction, you go and preach. Harikata Harina so is preaching. So many nice, nice disciples. So many nice, nice disciples coming. And Rasikananda Babu was giving instruction by Samananda. You can also make disciple. Follow. Samananda Babu giving open instruction to Rasikananda. You can make also disciple. Because Gurudev already knowing na, how much power is there. Like Prabhupada, like Prabhupada giving instruction to Ban Maharaj. Prabhupada from here giving instruction to Ban Maharaj. Well, you can give you can give Harinam to somebody, some foreign devotee. If they cannot come here, you can give Harinam. Like I can give example. From here, Prabhupada giving instruction to some devotee. Prabhupada giving instruction to some devotee. Who is staying in Assam, Sharbhog, Nimanand, Nimananda Prabhu? You never heard. Where from, where from you can heard? Where from you can have no information? Nimananda Prabhu. Nimananda Prabhu, his name is Nimananda Prabhu. He is from Assam, Sarbhog. He was giving instruction by Prabhupada. If some poor devotee, if some poor people cannot come here, if some poor people cannot come here, I give you instruction, you can give Harinam to them. So when Prabhupada giving instructions to somebody, be careful. If my Gurudev or Santa Maharaj giving me, giving me instruction, you can speak Harigatha, not a matter of joke. When Bhati Maharaj, Titu Goswami Maharaj, you know, Bon Baba, and Nayanananda Baba, and follow, Giri Maharaj, when they are all giving me instruction, to speak Harikatha, it's not a matter of joke. I mean, they are also giving power to me. Gurudev, Titu Maharaj, Bharti Maharaj, Nayanananda Baba, Giri Maharaj, Shatagminda Maharaj, Santagusri Maharaj. Why they all give me instruction? I don't know. Miracle. So, it is their power. So, when Samananda giving, Prabhu giving instruction to Rasikananda, you can give initiation. Then surely Gurudev giving power to Rasikananda. Miracle. Rasikananda Prabhu also giving instruction to somebody, you can give, make disciple. And he giving instruction to somebody, you can make also disciple. He, you, I can show you. I can show you all detailed information. When Gurudev, when Rasikananda Prabhu there, and his Gurudev there, Samananda Prabhu there, Shamananda Prabhu, Rashikananda Murari there, his disciple there, his disciple there, I mean grand, grand, grand disciple there. All there. Sometime Rashikananda Prabhu giving instruction to grand, grand disciple. You can give initiation to him. So you see. I can show you. I have book. Authentic book. I'm thinking how much power they have. How much power they have. Simply they are going, you can give initiation. Like Mahaprabhu. Why I speak that massive preaching only uh, uh, effectively applicable for, for Mahaprabhu. If you know all in details, you can go mad. Well, South Indian tree, fear there, Mahaprabhu giving 
prema, harinam and nam prem to somebody. Like leprosy disease, Vasudev Vipro, Kurma Vipro, first you meet Kurma Vipro, Kurma Cha Kurma Vipro. After that, giving instru instruction to you, you can preach. Vasudev Vipro, who is Kushti, leprosy, all body. Then Mahaprabhu going to embrace him and to rectify. And giving his, I like to go with you. Don't go with me. Don't go. You can go and preach Harinam. That's Kushti Vipro, leprosy. He is going to village. He is giving Harinam to somebody. He is also dancing. He is also going to some village. He is giving prayer multiple ways. I can show you evidence. I have evidence. I have evidence. I can show you multiple ways. He is going to give in session. He is going to him. He is going to bifurcate. He is going here and there. All multiple ways. Multiple way. Two to four. Eh? Four, four multiply sixteen. Sixteen, sixteen multiply hundred something. This way, multiple way. Massive. Miracle. Mahaprabhu translating power. One time giving this power, this power by forget and you know, distributing. But this is not applicable for everybody. So anyway, this way, Nathu Mathagur preaching all throughout Tipura, Bangladesh, all throughout Tipura, Bangladesh, everywhere, Manipur, all. Samananda Prabhu preaching all throughout Mindapur, I mean, south, uh, south, southwest, southwest Orissa and everywhere, everywhere, Bengal, Orissa, Rasikananda Prabhu preaching big way. If I go on speaking, you can go mad. You cannot believe. It will take long time how preaching was done. So, now one question coming to me. I think I have, today I have no time to discuss this point that Pope of writing in Vaishnav K. Patishtara Tare Nijjanara Ghare Patishtara Tare Nijjanara Ghare Tava Harinam Keval Koitav I mean Pohupat never wanted to give instruction to us us to start solitary bhajan. Pohupat never allowed. Popad never allowed us to do solitary bhajan. Whereas we discovered externally, Popad doing solitary bhajan, 100 crores harinam, three times. 100 crores harinam, three times. One time in Chaitanya Mahat, one in Jagpit, in Chatak Parbat, three times. 100 crores harinam. Bhakti Thakur, you have no information. You have no information, you don't know. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Bhaktivinoda Thakur doing 100 crore sarinam, nam jagya. You have no information. You know? You know? Bhaktivinoda Thakur down 100 crore sarinam, you have no information. Who can give you information? Bhaktivinoda Thakur down 100 crore sarinam, nam jagya. And after doing that, Japamala was given to Prabhupada. Given to Prabhupada. And he was given instruction by Srila Bhaktivinu Thakur. Now every, everybody in fighting mood, they like to kill you. I know you don't fear because you are Gauranga Bhakta. Bhaktivinu Thakur is speaking to Bhimala Prasad. Better I give you to this mala, you go to Brajapattan and do 100 crores harinam. I can give all detailed information about Prabhupada and Bhaktivinu Thakur. I can, I can prove that they never wanted to do solitary bhajan. I never wanted to do solitary bhajan, but externally you can find I also done solitary bhajan in my life. Many devotees know. I went to Surya Kunda, I went there, Govardhan. But I can prove I never wanted to do solitary bhajan. I never wanted to do solitary bhajan. That was not my solitary bhajan. That was not my solitary. How I can reconcile those things? Next, next day, Harikatha, I can explain. Today, no time. I can establish that Papa never wanted to do solitary bhajan. Though externally we find he has done solitary bhajan, whereas he is going to give instruction, don't do solitary bhajan. 
you yourself doing solitary bhajan, you are speaking. So how I can harmonize next, next, next week, continuous harikatha, I can try to discuss. Excuse me for today. Actually, sa sukham, sukham andriyakam daitya deho yogena dehinam sarvatra labhati yasmad jatha duksham ayatnataha vancha kalpatura sikhe pasindu vacha pati tanam pavana bho vashna bhyona. Today is the Vashanta Ras of Krishna. Vashanta Ras. Today is the Vashanta Ras. Today is the Baladev Ras Purnima. But I have no scope to discuss all in details. Vashanta Ras also done in Govardhan. Vashanta Ras. So I have no time to discuss, excuse me. So Baladev Ji Maharaj Ras Purnima today. Today is Vashanta Ras of Krishna. Today is the Abhirbhaptiti of Samananda Prabhu. Today is the Abhirbhaptiti of Vankshivadanand Prabhu. Today is the Abhirbhaptiti of Bharati Maharaj, one disciple of Prabhupada. I have no time to discuss Banchakal Padrosa. 